Hello everyone, my name's Kaz. Uh, I've just drunk the uh, medicine ayahuasca and um, although I've had very little sleep and, and my brain is is blown to smithereens, I look rough as anything, I, um, I just wanted to share with you the experience while it was still fresh in my mind. Um, I've actually got to go out in about 10 minutes so I just wanted to do it quickly. Um, Wow. <laughs> I just don't even know how to start to put this into words. Um, <sighs> oh, man. It was profound. Uh, yeah, it showed me every single bit of my personality that is toxic, that is causing me frustration in my life. Uh, it showed me how the the world around me is a precise reflection of what I'm putting out and in that way it's absolutely perfect. It's this, it's an incredible mirror. Uh, I know we often talk about that but to see it and feel it in such a such a full-on way is just something else. Um, Yeah, it just, it was like getting punched and kicked, you know, like, on every side of my personality, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me get away with anything, you know, it would hit me hard and then, you know, I might go into a story about that, you know, like a, like a victim mode, then it would hit me hard about that, you know, then, then I would maybe go into some egoic mode and it would hit me hard there and it's just like everywhere I would turn uh, it, it would hit me again and when I say hit me I mean that literally my my left side was spasming like boof 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 like really really spasming um, Uh, it was it was painful, but in the most beautiful way, like in the most incredible way. I mean, I just don't know how to explain this because you're gonna think this sounds like hell, and it was hell, but i I just loved every second of it. I mean, I just don't know how something can give you that experience. My friend Rory was talking about paradoxes before. Uh, in the car on the way there and uh, and this is a paradox because it it somehow shows you these lessons about you and uh, you know it brings out all this pain like I was crying so much like proper deep tears and then and boom, they stopped, they just stopped because, uh, you know, something was released. It felt amazing. Uh, it's, it's a truth serum. It just shows you what is actually going on. When we started the ceremony, um, there was uh, a lot of people talking about, um, well, like we went around and set our intentions and a lot of people wanted to bring someone to the ceremony who wasn't there and I wanted to bring my mum there because um, I know that she she has a hard time in life and and uh, when it came around to my turn I, I decided that I, I shouldn't do that because I hadn't asked her permission and, uh, and that she'd probably hate it knowing her, her views on, on such things but what I did bring, or what the uh, the medicine showed me, um, was.
was so much about my relationship with her. Uh, again, I, I, I don't want to disrespect her by, by saying too much, but let's say that I have disrespected her and she's always saying that to me and, you know, I don't necessarily do it to her face, but I often refer to her as, you know, crazy or whatever. And I just realized like I just saw like who she really is, you know, like she's such a incredibly powerful, sensitive, um, she's a goddess, you know, she's, she's, uh, she's incredible, you know, and, and she's so deeply misunderstood in this life and so isolated um, and so angry and, and not being heard and, uh, and and I'm not hearing her you know I haven't heard her and and, uh, and consequently she's always angry with me and, and I've never really understood why but it just uh, it just showed me that I haven't been I haven't been listening I've been I've been uh, expecting her to to be a mother to me in a certain way, but actually, you know, the, the gifts that she has is, is something really incredible. And and I saw that um, that if I keep resenting her and and keep dis putting a distance and a block between us, then I'm also blocking the same traits I guess that are inside me as well um it was just so clear you know it was so clear I asked for clarity and courage at the beginning of the um of the ceremony um sorry about my blot nose <laughs> yeah I did this ceremony and I you know I wasn't feeling very well um I'd fasted for for more than 24 hours apart from an apple so you know it it hit me hard <laughs> but i'm so grateful that it did ah <sighs> what else like it just kept showing me like that the most important thing that i can do is to be present that you know i'm not here to teach anybody anything um or to fix anything and that I, I need to get out of the way because the present if you're open to it the the gifts come you know you you, you do the right thing you know there's so many so many things that i've said and given advice upon but just not really understood them myself you know people well my sister often says i give good advice but you know, I just don't listen to my own advice, and that's because I don't know it. You know, I I didn't know it, and I mean, every time my mind would shift in the present, I would get slapped around the face, literally. Like I would get again these twitches, violent twitches. I mean, it must have looked hellish. The poor people. Well, not the poor people sitting next to me. You know, like the people sitting next to me, and that was another thing because I was conscious of at some points about how I was looking, like spasming all over that floor. But then I just thought, you don't need to worry about them. They're in the right place. They're they're having their journey, you know. And um, it's they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like you don't need to worry. Like everybody's here that should be, and life is like that you know yeah I, I just I don't know how to explain it I I was just so humbled uh, I've had reservations about uh, about the the mother plant um, and paranoia is about it, I guess. Even despite my my uh, my past with with other other plants, uh, being suspicious of her. But I mean, what she showed me, was, yeah, everything, <laughs> every bit of truth about everything in in such a beautiful, 
totally loving, accepting way. And and that's what I kept coming back to, you know, I would feel these pains and these things, see these things inside me that were so ugly, you know, they're just like, whoa, you know. And uh, and then I would, you know, start to beat myself up about it. And I'm like, no, that, that's a story. Beating yourself up about something is moving away from the present. And uh, it's not not accepting it. So I kept just remi reminding myself, like, no, this is just the way it is. This is the way it is. This is just the way it is. And I, and that just kept going on and on as a as a reminder. Um, and judgment. You know, I I became aware of how judgmental I am. Like. I don't think of me as judgmental. I don't suppose other people think of me as judgmental. Maybe they do, or maybe they don't, I don't even know. But every time I made any kind of a judgment, again, I got another punch in the face. Um, which is amazing, like, just such a, a visceral feedback on uh, what's going on. You know, because I, what I really was asking for was, you know, authenticity so that I can do whatever work I need to do. That's what I asked for. I mean, I think sneakily at the back of my mind, I was just thinking, you know, please help me get rid of any pains I've got. And, you know, I, I want to have a good time in life and enjoy myself. And and I'm not saying that that's, that's wrong, but I think, you know, what I saw is to, to be... To be free, to be authentic, you have to, you have to face your pain. You know, the reason I've got a fear of people hearing my voice is because I don't want to see, I don't want them to see the sides of me that I don't like. And so I, I'm hiding for good reason. But if you, if I just embrace those sides and go look this is who I am you know like I'm I'm needy and an attention seeker and selfish and all these other things and that's not just who I am you know that's just a part of who I am and if I can just be with that and be okay with that then then there's nothing to hide and then I can speak freely and I can be here and just be me and uh, and that's so freeing so although it hurts it feels absolutely amazing you know it just feels so I've never felt so liberated so I'm aware I'm running out of time and I'm going on and my battery's going to run out. So it's a sign I need to shut up soon. But I know that people want to know, you know, what medicine I did, how I did it exactly, uh, how long it took. Because they're probably wondering whether they should do it. And I would just say that, uh, listen to your heart, honestly. I have no answer for you. If it calls you, then it calls you for good reason. And if you find yourself in that inner ceremony, then I truly believe you're meant to be there. Um, and, and, you know, listening to other people's experiences, they were different. So, you know, it's not going to give everybody the same thing. So I, I, I can't tell you what it will, will do for you. I can only share what, what happened uh, for me. So, um, thank you for listening. Apologies for the dodginess of this video. Uh, I hope it helps you. Lots of love. <laughs>